Hey there, I'm Nick. Thank you for joining me. This is a Bible study on Simon the Canaanite, or Simon the Zealot. First, let's share a blessing. May God bless you and keep you. And may the Lord God make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord God lift his countenance upon you and give you peace. I ask that in Jesus' name. Simon the Zealot, Simon the Canaanite, very interesting, mysterious character from the Bible. He is listed among the apostles four times in Matthew 10, 4, Mark 3, 18, Luke 6, 15, Acts 1, 13. He's listed 11th in Matthew and Mark, 10th in Luke. He's not named specifically in John, but he's numbered among the apostles in everything that the apostles did with Christ when they were sent out on their missionary journey in Matthew 10, for example, when they were sent out in pairs, given power to heal people, cast out evil spirits, Simon would have been there. He was with Christ on, on, yeah, the journey into the triumphal entry into Jerusalem. He was therefore with Christ at the Last Supper. He was among the disciples who deserted Christ at Gethsemane and the crucifixion. He wasn't a witness. He fled out of fear. Through mercy, he would have seen Jesus in the upper room in John 20 when Thomas was doubting and Jesus mercifully allowed him to feel the holes from the nails. That is Thomas. Simon the Zealot, the name itself, may be a play on word. Jesus, you can see through James and John being called Sons of Thunder, would tag people with names for their weaknesses. Now, maybe the Zealot, because it comes from the Greek word Kananios, and we'll get to Canaanite in a second. But if it's Simon the Zealot, maybe he was Jesus was joking with him, having a bit of fun with him, like he did with the Sons of Thunder, to carry around a top. Oh, you know someone who's really in and you, you know you've got people like that and always calm down a minute but it's calling him as the zealot you know full of zeal maybe that's what it is not many people would say that but why not maybe it's just to distinguish him from simon son of jonah simon peter most people and you see it on the movies especially in the chosen have you seen that fit they've got a series called the chosen and i i bought a copy on dvd and to be honest, the first episode I thought was rubbish because it didn't have any biblical stuff in it. But after that, I really enjoyed it. And it moves into the character of Simon the Zealot because he is interested. Kind of portrays him as this ninja warrior priest figure who is, you know, is saved from himself by Jesus because he was going to attack the Romans. Pretty much they get that from the story of Judas of Galilee. The Zealot portion of his name may be attributed for his zeal for the law maybe a genuine title he was just so zealous for the law for for the messiah maybe he was zealous for the call maybe he was quick to go out into all of the world when jesus said so he was, he was really eager to do it don't know as for the canaanites some people say that he lived in in cana that's why they like the title of the name simon the canaanite it's not quite as interesting as the zealot, though, is it? <laughs> be honest with you. But other people say that it's not so much a, play, a, a title, Simon the Canaanite, for where he lived, but more of his political status as a Galilean. The fact that he was a Galilean leads people to say that he was called at Galilee. He was called at the same time as Andrew and Peter, James and John, by Tiberius, by the Sea of Galilee. They also say that Judas Iscariot, and Thaddeus were called at that same time at the Sea of Galilee and referenced in Matthew 4.18. Tradition. Some say, and you'll like this, some say, maybe you already know, some say he was a missionary in Egypt. This is the most popular that you'll find online and through other people. A missionary in Egypt, then travelling through Persia, Armenia. He travelled along with Thaddeus. He was sawn in two, died around AD 65 and martyred in persia that's kind of one of the most popular but then there's lots of different ones as well for example basil the great around the fourth century he lived he says that that simon the zealot died peacefully in edessa in greece some people and i live in britain so i'll give you this one some people say that he traveled to great britain was missionary here and then was crucified in great britain and there's lots more for example the muslim faith uh, all the Muslims uh, and I don't know where to get this from so I haven't looked it up but accordingly say that he actually taught 
in northern africa region and there's many eastern orthodox christians which will have him in africa as well for a long time egypt definitely seems to be favorite and of course that's in africa but yeah why not so some say because why not i'll give you this as well that he along with thaddeus were both brothers of james son of james the less james son of alpheus what the basis behind that is that they want to find some tradition where simon son of cleopas becomes simon the zealot it's kind of interesting there's loads of it online tradition not a lot known about him, but there is there's a lot known about him because the disciples did an awful lot of things in the new testament unfortunately when we kind of read about the disciples we normally associate the sermon for peter at jerusalem to peter when the rest of the disciples were there we normally associate the arrest of peter in acts to just peter when the rest of the disciples were also there and so on but simon did amazing things he was blessed by the spirit he's a blessing to me and you two thousand years later who are able to wonder at the blessings of god who will have this man listed in scripture forever for a witness of his faithfulness of his chosen vessel of his of his sacrifice of his life no doubt for the message of the gospel which we can be thankful for today in the scripture so maybe mysterious figure hopefully not underrated one of the 12 one of the faithful a blessing to us all simon the canaanite or simon the zealot amazing god bless you and your family thank you for sharing that with me in jesus name be well amen and amen <laughs>